Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I am back to click the links and go through the emails you guys have sent me. So quick too, you guys didn't have to wait a whole month for this video, it's just like a week later. And I'm realizing now, I probably should have made a new email because this is an email I give out publicly. It has become so cluttered with spam emails. Every email I get is just like a scam email or something like this telling me to activate my p-hub account or to please activate my hookup 69 account nice that, that seems like a very safe place to meet up with someone so if i ever do another one of these i think i'm gonna make a new email but let's get into the emails and see what kind of things you guys sent me i think i'm gonna reward the first person that ended up getting an email sent to me from sadie she said balls gabe please open really important and then they attached a video, which uh, that could be anything. That kind of makes me nervous. Let's see what it is. That's it. You had one chance to be the first person to send me an email. And that's what it is? What's even happening? It's a, what kind of car is that? Next email says, Gabe, can you marry me, please? For serious. And then, oh no, it's a Wattpad link. I remember Wattpad from back in the day. Wattpad used to be a popular site. It's where all the fan fiction is, yeah. I think I've seen this one too. Psycho in my life, Gabe Helmy. Aria recently moved to Arizona from London after her dad got a promotion, but when she bumps into an innocent looking guy, he turns out not to be as innocent as seemed. <laughs> Wait, is that supposed to be like a sexual thing or am I, am I like a killer in this? What ends up happening? I'm looking at the comments. They say, why the heck is there a two-year-old inside the fridge? What happens in this plot? Look how many chapters it has. It has almost 40 chapters. I'm kind of impressed. Whoever wrote this, penguins are cute. Shout out to you. You clearly put a lot of work into this. Maybe I'll read this whole thing. This email, I can address this. They say, please open your P.O. box. And I don't know if a lot of you guys ended up seeing it, but I actually did live on stream. It was a nice mix of weird stuff and nice stuff. Like one that stands out. I know someone sent adult diapers, which I believe I still have somewhere. I don't know why. I don't know what I expect or think I'm going to get when I do these videos, but I don't know how I'm supposed to react to when I get these kind of images. Gabe's birth, like this, what? Did you Photoshop that? This one says, sweet din din for my husband, Gabe. Bruh, that's the saddest dinner. Did you just put this together and take a picture of it and send it to me or is this your dinner? We got our first Amazon link. What is it gonna be? A pineapple degree. Fake degree from Pineapple State University. What a prestigious award it would be to get that. To be honest, I have no idea where my actual college degree is. I know it's somewhere safe. It's not lost, but I don't know if it's in this closet. I don't know if it's in the garage. It's somewhere. This email is titled Doppelgangers and then it links to a site twinstrangers.net find your lookalike anywhere in the world twin strangers meet up and then you meet up with them so this is like a tinder to find your lookalike and then you, what you just hang out because <laughs> you look alike friend i mean i'm down i'll do it do i have to make a whole account Ugh. and i made an account and it says we have found the best matches for this photo have a look now and can try with a different photo. Five free searches. How though? How do I see the people that look like me? It wants me to pay. This is how they get you. They, they offer to find your twin, but you can't get the results until you pay. You know what? If this is a real service, I would actually meet up with a twin. I would love to do that even for a video. I would love to meet up with like five people that look like me. And we can just all just have a play date. Next email, this one says, this is it. This is the email you were looking for. And it's another Wattpad link. This one looks worse though. The URL, it says Centipede of Humans, Gabe Helmy, chapter one. Mm. Centipede of Humans, Gabe Helmy. I do not remember. It's by the same person. Penguins are cute. Penguins are cute. We have to have a talk. 
Why? Let's see how it starts off. Eliza's POV. It's such an interesting idea, Gabe said, as he held up all three Human Centipede movies in his hand. Goes on, you seemed obsessed with them movies, I sighed. What was even the third one? That's because they are genius and 100% medically accurate. I just glared at him. Ever since he watched those movies a month ago, he was fixated. So this is a fan fiction about how I become obsessed with the human centipede and what I do it myself. In all its beauty, just imagine the chain of humans sharing a gastric system. He smiled and placed the DVDs to his heart. This is disturbing just to read. And the fact that it's about me, it's even worse. How long does this one go on? For This one has nine chapters. So it's not just a quick story that they did really quick. They decided to really invest time in. Centipede of Humans, Gabe Helmy, the book. Okay, let's move on. I feel like I need a break after that. And you know what? It works out. This would actually be a great time to take the ad break of this video to thank the sponsor of the video, Ridge Wallet. If you missed the last time I talked about them, Ridge Wallet creates these kind of smaller, more efficient wallets that I personally love and use compared to my old wallet, which takes up a lot of room. These are just so much more comfortable. And my favorite thing about this company, and a big reason why I'm happy to have them as a sponsor, is because they offer a lifetime warranty on all the wallets, which literally means if years and years down the line, if it breaks, they'll replace it for free. It's also just good to know that if you're giving this as a gift or something for a birthday gift, Father's Day gift, you know you're giving them a product that will last for years. If this does seem like the kind of product you'd be interested in, there'll be a link in the description or go to ridge.com slash pineapple and use the code pineapple to get an extra 15% off. Let's get back to the video though. Thank you so much to Ridge for sponsoring this video. That was a good break. Hopefully no more Wattpads. I think I found a good one to start again on because it's fan art. They say right here, she's dripped out. And look at her, wow. Look at that. Speaking of fan art, I just ran into this one. Nice. The hell? I'm going through old emails that I've gotten and someone has been using this email to order pizza. Your Domino's pizza order. They ordered a lot of pizza too. $124. They got a 16 inch hand tossed whole no cheese donar sauce, triple onions, triple pineapple, triple peppers, tomato, and no pizza sauce. <laughs> what would a pizza like that even look like? I really wanted this drawing to look like you, but I'm a beginner, so it's not good. And then there's a video, which is not usual for fan art. There's a good chance this is just gonna be porn. Oh, it's not. Oh, interesting. I see the process. For a beginner, that's very good. This email, I, I don't know if I should even talk about these kind of emails. When I come across them, need to see this. So when I saw the title of this email, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be something important. I open it and it's this. <laughs> Crimson and strawberry. I mean, it's, it's very nice art, I guess, but why do I need to see this? You guys crack me up with these emails sometimes. <laughs> Hi, I did this for you, Gabe. I love your videos. They're very funny. Do you like? <laughs> I like. This is very good. Thank you. Here we got a meme. I do appreciate the effort a lot of the time, but a lot of the memes you guys have made about me, I don't know, I don't know if they're very good memes. Hmm, sexy pineapple, I think. I'm not even gonna say. We got an Amazon link. Let me guess, it's gonna be a pineapple. No, it's a book. How to shoot video that doesn't suck. This one says, hello, I was trying to draw you and ended up hating the drawing halfway through, so I ruined them. That's not bad. I could see how that was gonna become me. Uh, another Amazon link. It's another book, how to not be an idiot. How, how am I just getting roasted through Amazon links? Hey, this email. This email tried to Rick roll me. They tried to trick me. They said epic Fortnite hack and they linked a YouTube video, but I could see if I clicked on it, I would be getting Rick Roll. This email is just an eBay link. Oh, it's not even a product. It's just a general 
It's like totally bizarre stuff. Oh my god, wait, a two-headed duck taxidermied? That's real? A mummified cat? I mean, it's mummified, that's for some reason makes it kind of like, oh, it's ancient history. But still, that's a dead cat. You can just sell that on eBay? I almost got banned on eBay because I one time sold my socks. But you can just sell this on eBay? They, they're not even strict on the price. $99 or best offer. I don't even know why you guys try. Like, what is this link? I would, I would never click on this link. 50z8.info slash naked grandma's JPEG slash malicious cookies. I don't know if that's a joke, but I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm not, I don't even wanna see what's behind that link. We got another meme. This one is, when you hit the catnip hard, Okay, I could vibe with that one. What? I'm gonna bring this up since I mentioned fan art. I'll sometimes come across fan art that I'm not sure if the person that sent it is the person that drew it. And this proves it right here. I just came across fan art that I could have sworn I already saw in an email. And I just found out, I just found the two emails. Two people in two different emails are claiming that they drew this fan art. I don't know if either of these people made this. So someone out there is a fraud and is claiming to have made fan art that they didn't actually make. Oh, okay, this is an email I missed from years ago. They, it looks like they made a PowerPoint about me. Why Gabe is cool. First slide, Gabe Helmy by fan, AKA Robert. Shout out to you, Robert. First slide, he educational. It links to a science video, okay. He like pineapple. Kitty. Okay, next slide. Random link, and then it links to random websites. Gabe, how do I Photoshop? By the way, end. And that's it, that's the last slide, wow. What a beautiful slideshow. I can't believe someone actually spent their time making that. With that, I think that's all the emails I'm gonna go through. I'm starting to get a headache going through them. So thank you to everyone who contributed or sent me a link. Even if it didn't make it in the video, I appreciate it. I always really enjoyed these kind of videos that are kind of more interactive with you guys. I think that's why the times I've streamed, I always really like it because it is more interactive. I've actually been dying to stream again. I've just been so distracted. But I think after this video goes up, I think look out in a week or so, I'm gonna end up streaming. And if you don't wanna miss that, turn on notifications so you get notified when I actually do go live. And with that, I think that's kind of all I wanted to mention. So thank you all for making it to the end of this video. I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you next time.